How's it going everyone? Today's topic is Bay of Drowned Wishes, Master Law Sector. We'll be running this as a Strand Titan with the champions of Overload and Unstoppable with a threat of Arc. To find this Law Sector, you're gonna go to the Dreaming City. Right here on the map, you'll land right here at the bottom, so right where this person's standing. They will come back to the flag here if you've never ran on normal. You'll need to run on normal to unlock Legend and Master. You'll go down this pathway, complete it on normal, come back to the flag here. Legend will give you two difficulties. Legend is a little, has less champions, Master has more champions if you can handle champions really well. Go into Master, see how you do. Um, power level won't really matter that much as long as you can handle the champions. It will be easier with a higher power level, uh, but you should be able to do it no matter what. And this is a good way to farm enhancement cores and exotic pieces. So our build today is going to consist of uh, Blade Fury with our Strand build, Rally Barricade um, to go with our uh, Dredger's Lash here. Uh, we will have the movements, whatever you like. Frenzy Blade is, uh, you know, we can just spam these out as much as we can. Give us give us more of those tangles. Shackle Grenade will deal with our Unstoppables along with uh, Dredger's Lash here. We'll take care of Unstoppables for us also for suspending. And then uh, Destroying a Tangle here will give us Woven Mail. So make sure we can use that if we need to. Throw it on our own feet. It'll then um, give us Woven Mail, keep us, keep us keep us alive better. So we'll use using the Fragments here of uh suspending uh sorry threads of mine increase to sorry defeating suspended targets grants us a class ability uh fury here will give us melee energy and then generation here will give us great energy <laughs> and continuity here will allow everything else we have with suspend unravel sever to last longer we're using the exotic of a bay of leaps where we want to make sure that our projectiles from our shield will if it goes with our dredger's lance dredger's Right, right here dredger's lash here will give us suspends so we'll have double two ways to suspend all the unstoppables or all the mobs so shackle here or shackle there um and so that's what uh, bait leaves is going to help us out with uh, i'll also giving us woven mail while we suspend targets which will be all day long so our main damage source is going to be the shotgun here to do big damage to all the champions we're dealing with in close range thunder lord will be here to do take care of uh, anything that's long range and take care of overloads for us and then our grenade launcher will do all of our ad clearing as there are a lot of small mobs to deal with and Strand really doesn't have much to help with that clear. So you definitely need a wave frame if you can. Uh, resilience for keeping us alive. Grenade or discipline gives more grenades for make sure our bola is uh, as active. And then I'll make sure they actually do call it bola. Shackle grenade. Okay, I keep going on bola. Uh, like, a, like a bola grenade. You throw up like a frisbee. <laughs> shackle grenade. Sorry, shackle grenade uh, for recovery. Uh, I'll probably still call it bola anyways. Why not? Uh, so recovery here, uh, you can put in recovery or intellect to give you more either super uptime or more health regen as uh, Strand doesn't have that much for keeping you alive besides uh, your maybe healing recuperation here in the legs. So your helmet here can be dynamo. Um, I would say recommend dynamo as you'll be using your, your class ability around a lot of targets as um, Ash's assets doesn't really do much if you're using the um, Dr. Grenade. Void Siphon is we're using a Void Waveframe. Everything else here is kind of optional for your gloves and for your legs. If you want to switch it around, you can. Arc Surge is what I'm using because uh, Strand is, seems, to do, seems to do very well with Surges. Doesn't really do do very well with Grenade Kickstarts here. Um, and then we are using two Arc Resists so we don't die to the Unstoppables. Um, and then everything else in our build is going to focus whatever Strand is able in your artifact. Definitely run it. And then we should be all set here. So let's go and knock this one out here. Should be a quick run. Shouldn't be that bad. Um, I appreciate all the support. Like and subscribe. Comment below if you need to see a different type of build. Builds. I'm trying to mix it up for you guys. Keep it interesting. Um, but uh, enjoy the content. Thank you for all the feedback. And you guys are amazing. All right, here we go. So we'll say we're gonna kill all these uh, mobs with our waveframe, and then you gotta make sure you're very careful with the uh, unstoppable here. If you don't have arc uh, resist mods, you will take a lot of damage. So be very careful. So we can throw a bull out. In with that early. Awesome. It'll allow you to reposition. Perfect. Now we're over here in the right spot. We're going to reload. Look for any of those uh, screams that are running at us. Because we don't want to deal with them. Throw our bowl out again. Do as much damage as we can to the abomination. And then watch out for all the little screams around here. Perfect. Now we're gonna have one more unstoppable on the far side. You can bait him to you if you're having trouble hitting him with your Ebola. Ebola. Oh, I missed. Come on, dude. Come on, Bola. Come on, dude, I'll hit you with my Bola.
Don't want to go to the right because it'll spawn everything else, but I do want to get this guy close enough. Hello, there we are. Perfect. Boom. Perfect. Now we still have our heavy to take care of the overloads here. I'm just going to sprint right through. The overload won't be able to do anything to you, but it, it will not it will not be able to do anything. Like, it will still heal unless you can get rid of it with your Thunderlord, so be very careful. Oh, come on. Come on, get over here. We don't want to... There we are. Blow everything up. Sweet. Blow us all the screams. Don't get killed by the close ones here. also jump over them if you need to uh, other than that just focus all them with your wave frame and then pick up some free ammo and hello dude to blow him up real quick perfect now we're good now we can go to this last zone here what I'm gonna do is grab some ammo I know I saw some on the ground if you need any of these stuff you can they hit him with that Ooh. Aha. For fun. You don't have to kill that guy, but just for fun, why not? Now you're going to have to deal with um, uh, these bombs. I would make sure you can't really do much with a wave frame, so you're going to want to blow them up with a shotgun. So just be very careful <laughs> with them. What we're going to do is throw a bull out and then take him out with our Thunderlord. you move and shift as you need to to deal with them. I wish I'd be able to just uh, push all these guys out. Ah. Alright, we're going, I guess we're going over here. I'm gonna make sure I do get that overload back on him because uh, he will heal and it'll be a pain. Make sure you focus a lot on survivability here. All right, you can do as much damage to this guy if you want to. You can use your super. I think I didn't use my super enough here, so I'm gonna go and use it now. Ah, spin to just slash to win. Ah, there we are. So, four minutes, um, almost 20 seconds run. Like and subscribe if you wanna see different builds. Um, Comment below, let me know what uh, what you guys are thinking. Say if I'm doing good, bad, whatever. If you want to see different kind of videos, let me know. Um, and as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.